I don't know. People always would say this thing, chat. They would say, um, I'm, I'm blacklisted or I think that that is this going to this going to be a, a controversial, unpopular opinion. But I'm a creator, so I can say what I, I can say it. And I especially because guess what? I got a TikTok page, right? That I post clips on. Now, look. People talk about things. They, oh, shadow banned. That's what they say. Not blacklisted. Shadow banned. That's what they say. And when they say they shadow banned, they say like the algorithm doesn't push them in it. All this, all this, uh, whatever, right? I could, I could have said that for my um, TikTok channel. I had a gap between the videos that was like a whole month. Like it went, it went March 8th to April 18th. But the, one of the videos I posted on April 19th is about to hit 250,000 views. And the other ones didn't do near that. Ones before that did that good, but didn't break out like that in a couple of videos. So somebody would have looked at the would they, they would have looked at the channel and said or the page on TikTok and said, "I'm blacklisted. Oh, TikTok hates me." I feel like it's just a complaining thing. Like, what the fuck? Keep posting. Make a new page then. Like, like get consistent. Find out what cre what can replicate that result. You know what I'm saying? So if you say your channel has been dead for 2 years, why did you stay on one channel for 2 years if you thought it was dead? You have not tried anything new. You didn't try a new editing style, a new thumbnail style, a new niche of content. You didn't take anything to the next level at all. At all. Compare this to what I just did with, with my channel. Instantly people realized. I analyzed how I could take my video to the next level. I analyzed how I could the, take the background to the next level. I analyzed all the different aspects of me as a creator or, or an internet personality that I could take to the next level. Whether it be from fashion, the quality of the content, the topics I discuss, and, and all types of shit, right? You gotta self-analyze and then update that shit. Apply what you fucking analyze. People make it seem like, oh, they stuck. Oh, I'm just stuck. My channel did and all that. Man, that's bullshit, man. My career and music is dead and all that. Like they be, I feel like, Chad, you know what I'm getting at? People self-identify with losing. It's like they just be wrapped up in their identity. They start identifying with that like, yeah... Man, the algorithm shadow banned me. They just don't want me to blow. My shit too real, man. You know, they, they don't push this type of shit. Th those would be the quickest people to say something, something else. Like, uh, oh, this person don't deserve it. I do. Or I know my shit better than theirs. So how the fuck they getting that much views? that many views or or that person don't deserve it or shit like i'm telling you they, they'd be the first to take away from somebody else's achievements and then sit there and try to be so entitled for their own it's the most annoying thing ever i have people say somebody's lucky I, that's like the mo one of the most annoying things ever man like they, they say that the shit is built on luck but what kobe said he said you got to do it again so they so that they know it's not luck but sometimes people people again continue to be successful and a motherfucker still find a way to hate, still find a way to take away from their success. I mean, you even got people, Kai will be going on the Twitter post, right? And the people will comment like, what does he do? Like, what, like, like, what does he do? Like, I, I don't fucking... What do you do? What have you done with your life, ever? I'm telling you, you'll never get judged by somebody that's like that really cares about their craft and is working hard. Those would be the least judgmental people. They work hard. They encourage you to work harder, and they they inspire you. They inspire each other, and they be genuinely happy for successful people. Like they're not haters, bro. They're not haters. Hater hating is like hating and losing go hand in hand to me. The moment, even if you already got successful, the moment you become a jealous hater. You start taking away from your own success. It, it just happens every time. Every fucking time. Competitive is one. Being competitive is one thing. But the moment you start hating, it's like your career, that person's career just starts dying, bro. I'm telling you. Hating and losing go hand in hand. They do. You distract you. What is your attention? You focus on the wrong shit. Um... 
Nico said it takes 10 years to be an overnight success. Come on now, they don't, they don't see the behind the scenes. Um, these days, fame is disconnected from excellence. At the time, I got to ask niggas what their profession is. Come on now. All right, chat. I'm about to look at the Reddit. Shout out all the follows. Shout out all the subs, man. I appreciate y'all. But we went off from 700. Um, we better get into some reactions, man. Moving my 